For my cultural experience, I attended the Crow Collection Chinese New Year celebration. When I arrived at the event, the first thing I saw was a row of food trucks and a lot of people. One side of the street was completely lined with these food trucks. Most of the trucks were serving native Asian cuisine. I tried some food that was an Indian Asian blend. It was quite good. I was also able to try kimchi fries from another truck. I had to wait in a very long line to get some, but it was worth it. Obviously, many other people were eager to try these as well. The fries were an unusual blend of an Asian food and an American food, but a great combination. I was surprised by the number of people who were attending this event. I really wasn't sure how well it had been advertised. Not only were there many people who were not of Asian descent, but there were many families that showed up to share this event with their children. The families appeared to be of all different backgrounds. Many of the activities seemed to be more geared towards kids. Kids were really enjoying themselves. They were eager to see everything. They even had face painting available, and many kids were running around with a face full of paint. There were several other cultural traditions that were available for people at the event. There was traditional Chinese candies that you could taste. I tried one. It was tasty, but not like any candy I'd ever tried. It was ginger with a little bit of spice to it. Very unusual. There were also red envelopes that you were able to fill out. The significance of the red envelope is to bring good luck in the year of the snake. You're supposed to give the envelope to people that you desire happiness and good luck in the coming year. After completing the red envelope, paper lanterns, there was also a traditional dragon dance parade, the highlight of the Crow New Year celebration. People had gathered around eager to see this dance. Standing close, we were packed like sardines. We watched as the dancers began. The dancers were clearly well prepared and did a great job celebrating the Year of the Snake through dance. It was exciting to see the faces of the kids as these dancers performed. I too greatly enjoyed this event. I realized that there was so much about the Chinese culture that I didn't even know about. I'm eager to find out more and to have more experiences with other cultures in the future. I really wasn't sure what kind of impact this event would have on me. I realized now that there was so much about the Chinese culture that I still don't know. My eyes were open to see that I needed to know more about the cultures of my students. I've had several students in the past who were from China, and I can't help but think of how ignorant I was of their background. For this event, I was able to learn more about the Chinese culture, and my hope is that it will allow me to better understand where these students are coming from and the things that they value. I also learned from this experience the need that I have to be more aware of other cultures, especially when I consider the kids that I serve at my school. Their culture is very different from the culture that I grew up with. As a result, I think that at times I fil filter things through my culture rather than trying to see where they are coming from and how their culture affects the way that they respond in a situation. After this experience, I anticipate and hope that I will be more motivated to research and take part in cultural experiences that will further my knowledge of my students and allow me to understand them better.